So g'day curd nerds and welcome to a cheese making video. This one is Borson. Now you may remember back when I did my cheese a day challenge, I actually ate some Borson and it was imported from France. Now I thought I'd give it a go and make some myself. So let me show you how to make this very tasty little cheese. So the ingredients for this cheese is two liters or two quarts of whole cow's milk. I use pasteurized and unhomogenized. Uh, one cup of creme fraiche, which is 250 milliliters. Three peeled garlic cloves, a third of a cup or 80 milliliters of lemon juice, a quarter of a teaspoon or 1.25 milliliters of liquid rennet, that's single strength, diluted in a quarter of a cup of cool non-chlorinated water, a half a cup of whipping cream, one teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of garlic puree, two tablespoons of dried parsley, and three tablespoons of dried chives. So add in the creme fraiche into the milk, which is essentially a cultured cream. So give that a whisk. I should use a whisk, I think. There we go. So whisk that in. Now this takes a little bit of time. It took me about two or three minutes to whisk the cream into the milk. So we're going to add in the three uh, garlic cloves. These have been peeled, a little bit chopped off the end so I could peel them properly. And we let them stay in there whilst we turn on the heat and heat the milk up. So I'm directly uh, heating this up. Uh, there's no double boil or anything. So we heat the milk to 45 degrees Celsius or 113 Fahrenheit. So once it reaches temperature, just check that, yep, that's close enough. That's spot on actually, pretty good. Now we're going to turn off the heat and we're going to remove the three garlic cloves. Make sure you get them all. There we go, and just plonk them into the cup. And I'm going to give them to my chooks. Chooks is a technical Australian word for chickens. Now we're going to add the lemon juice in to the milk. And it will curdle slightly, ever so slightly. This is a fairly low temperature at the moment, so it won't split the milk in half into curds and whey. It'll just curdle it just a slight amount. Now we're going to add the rennet to do the proper job of uh, turning it into curds and whey. So we stir it for no more than one minute. And we pop the lid on. So we're going to cover that and allow it to set for 30 minutes at the target temperature of 45 Celsius, 113 Fahrenheit. So meanwhile, get your other ingredients. You get your garlic, parsley, salt and chives. Get them all laid out, ready to go. So, we can take the cover off. I've moved this over the sink area and I'm just scooping the curds into a colander lined with butter muslin. Now, I found that uh, if I used a normal loose weave cheesecloth that it would have gone straight through. It's fairly delicate stuff. So just ladle, ladle, ladle that in, and then just pour the rest in. There we go. Now we're going to tie that into a ball shape, and I'm just gently squeezing to get a little bit more of the way out. And I'll just leave that there. So I'm going to let that sit there for two hours and drain. So 
So after the two hours, um, I'm just uh, waiting for that to finish off. I've got my whipping cream there. So I'll measure that out and we're going to whip that to form soft peaks. So this is my half a cup of whipping cream. So just using the hand mixer there to get it to stiff peaks, basically. Now I thought that if I whipped it any longer it may turn into butter, so I kind of left it there. So I'm going to take the curds and add that to the whipped cream. So the curds are fairly well drained. They formed a, a ball of curds, which look fairly crumbly, which is okay, that, that's fine. So just got those all out of the tight weave butter muslin. Now just with the spatula there, we're just stirring that through, mix that well, so that the cream and the curds are combined. So adding in the salt and then mix that through as well. And that's salt to taste, so I just had a bit of a taste to make sure it wasn't under salted or over salted. So we're adding in the garlic puree now. Now you can find this in jars in most supermarkets um, or you can just crush the garlic yourself. So give that a good stir through the cheese. And then add your dried parsley. Now using these dried ingredients actually helps to absorb some of the moisture and firm up the cheese later on. Now if you used fresh ingredients, which you can, um, I'm just adding the chives there, you would have to make sure that the curd was drained probably for another hour longer to get more moisture out of it and possibly whip the cream a little bit stiffer. So mix all those ingredients all the way through your cheese. And at this stage you can taste it if you want. Um, I tasted it off camera. Now we're going to spoon the cheese into baking paper lined moulds. And I've just got some steel, I think they're um, potato croquette moulds, I'm not too sure, I found them in the cupboard somewhere. And the reason we line them with baking paper is not only does it help uh, get them out of the moulds easily, but it does absorb some of the moisture and firms up the cheese. So I've got baking, baking paper on the plate underneath, and I've got a little round of baking paper that I pop on top, also the moulds aligned as you can see there with the baking paper. So just fill those both up. Press down where you need to to get any air pockets out. And just level it off and pop the paper on top. There we go, and pat that down. Now refrigerate that uh, for two hours at four degrees Celsius or 39 Fahrenheit. So two hours later, just using a knife to get the paper off. I found it worked a little bit easier. Just peel it off gently. And we need to use the knife to get the paper off, then you can do so. Okay, and then gently tap and your cheese comes out and then you've got to find where you started the paper. And we take it off once I find it out. Thought, well, I'll check out the other cheese first before I take the paper off. There we go, gentle tap. Okay, so where do we find the start of the paper? I'm using the knife to find the start, and that made it a lot easier and just unwrap it. And I couldn't find the start of that one. There we go, found it. Okay, looking lovely. So there's the finished cheese, looking quite nice, firm standing up by itself, so I'm quite happy with that. 
So now that we've made it and we've got it out in our form, my initial thoughts are it's a little bit too moist. I should have drained the cheese part of it a little bit more and maybe whipped the cream a little bit firmer. Uh, but it looks great and it certainly smells fantastic. Um, I've got a bagel here, so let's put a little bit of borson on the bagel. Mmm, herb and garlic. Smells fantastic. And the good thing is it's holding its form mostly, so certainly not having issues with that. The texture is fairly the same as the borson that I bought. Let's try this, shall we? Oh, that is beautiful. Mmm. Mmm. Finger looking good. I think I've died and gone to heaven. <laughs> that cheese is absolutely remarkable. Lots of garlic and taste of chives, a little bit of parsley and certainly salted just to the right level. So highly recommend giving Borson a go. Try it out. So simple. It's criminal. You could even make the, the creme fraiche yourself if you so desired. I choose, chose to buy some because um, I did, really didn't have the time to make it and put this all together. Anyway, really simple cheese to make. Give it a go. Borson. Well, thanks for watching, Curd Nerds. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel so you get more interesting cheese making videos like this one. Don't forget to hit that little notification bell so you get notified when they come out. Well, thanks for watching, Curd Nerds, and I'll see you next time.